guys. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. Jamar, what's up? Joshua C. Carlos, the job took it. Metal Mark, what's good? Garbage fans in the chat, let me know. We got Takita Quita. What's up? Shout out to Texas, y'all. Doom and Boomer. What's good, man? Let's go. See what's up. Alternative rock? Is that what y'all want to do tonight? We got Miss Connie Cat in the chat. We just started, Tammy. Guys, welcome on into the stream. I'm your host T. Welcome to the Adventures of TNT. And tonight we are doing a Friday night jam session. Now, unfortunately, Tasha, she wasn't feeling too good, so she's not going to be jamming with us tonight. But um, hey, maybe she'll come through for Metal Meltdown, which will be at midnight, uh, or maybe a little sooner. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to have some fun tonight. So uh, requests are open if anybody wants to make a request. But I need to know in the chat. Uh, what what do y'all feel like listening to tonight? Because I, I, I was, you know, a lot of times when I do these late night jam sessions, I get stuck because I like listening to all genres of music um, and, and from any era. And a lot of times I, I sit there and think, like, how am I going to start the stream? Or where am I going to go? And most of the time I started in the in the 90s because I like 90s alternative rock, um, 90s metal. And we always end up finding our way all over the place. So if you guys have some suggestions, uh, let me know. And uh, and also let me know what, what you're feeling tonight. Like what type of music you're feeling tonight. Anyway, uh, let's keep things going. Let me see. What are we going to do? Um, let me see. Okay. Linkin Park. Skates, what's good? You said 70s rock? Okay. When I pretend everything is 
what I wanted to be. I look exactly like what you had always wanted to see. When I pretend, I can forget about the criminal I am. Still in second after second, Salty dogs? I know I can, but I can't pretend this is the way it'll stay. I'm just trying to bend yeah. I can't pretend I'm who you As long as it's upbeat, so this Friday night, we're trying to have a party. Star, what's good? I remember what they talked to me. Remember condescending talk of who I ought to be. Remember listening to all of that and this again. So I pretended up a person who was fitting in. And now you think this person really is me. And I'm trying to bend the truth. The more I push, the more I'm pulling away. Cause I'm lying. Alright guys, that was lying to you from uh, Lincoln Park. Leave your thoughts in the chat. I went ahead and asked y'all in the chat and said, are you a Lincoln Park fan? And it is split 50-50. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's cool. Because I, I enjoy Lincoln Park. And I know sometimes uh, chat can be kind of fickle when it comes to this fan. <laughs> but they make great music. <laughs> what is there not to like about those guys? All of their songs for the first two albums are straight bangers. Anyway. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Red hot chili peppers, y'all.
guys, that is Red Hot Chili Peppers with Love Roller Coaster. That's a cover from the Ohio Players. Let me know in the chat which one you like better. If you're a fan of Red Hot Chili Peppers or you think they uh, they butchered this. Uh, for me, personally, I think this is pretty good. Anyway, we're going to keep things going. Let me see. We got a request. Uh, pa, 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 pa. All right. This is from Doom and Boomer. This is the thermals. You will be free. All right. As always, leave your thoughts in the chat, y'all. Let's go. Mr. Dirty up in the chat. What's up? Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, that was the thermals with You Will Be Free. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Um, tonight, it is Friday night, and I want to hear music that is upbeat, that is fun. Um, think of it like this. Everyone is coming over. Y'all are coming over my house. And we're coming to party. So with the songs that are, we're about to play, I'm about to do these requests. When you listen to them, I want, I want to know if these are songs that are going to get you moving. So let me know in the chat. <laughs> let me know if you're rocking with the songs that we're listening to. Anyway. Let me see. What do we got? We got the Rolling Stones. She's cold. Let's go. Party at TNT, y'all. Who's got Who's got the beer? Who's bringing the beer? <laughs> oh man. <laughs>
thoughts in the chat now um now this is a great song this is it's fun it's upbeat and it's basically it's mick jagger he's talking about how he's trying to be affectionate to a girl and she is being cold to him and i i like how he does like the polar opposite he's like i'm burning i'm burning for you (laughs) <laughs> but the funny thing about it is, it's like the way he's singing, he sounds so sexual. And he, and, and it's almost like he's, he's moaning while he's singing the chorus. <laughs> She's so cold. <laughs> this is a great request. Shout out to Connie Cat for this request. Um, let's keep things going. Let me see. What do we have? No, we got a song from... Uh, from Miss Tammy C. This is uh, Hold the Line by Toto. Let's go. Good one right here. It's not in the way you've been treating my friends. It's not in the way that you stay to the end. It's not in the way you look for the things that you say that you do. For the line. Love isn't always on time. Oh, oh, oh. Shout out to OG Mike for the $49 to the chat. Line. We appreciate it. see myself see myself at a party you see your sweetie in the corner and you're like hey come here girl
Hey, I feel you, Dirty. It's not in the way that you came back to me. It's not in the way that love set me free. It's not in the way you look for the things that you say that you do. For the lie. Love isn't always on time. Oh, oh, oh. For the lie. Now, guys, y'all know that when we're throwing a house party, the songs don't always have to be, you know, like rip your face off or heavy bass. Sometimes you can have a, just a really cool, chill song like this right here. Makes you want to check out the girl in the corner and tell her to come here. Let me hold the line with you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so um so it's been a while since I threw a party. But I do remember back in the day when I did and I would have all my friends come over. We would um you know the, the like the coolest thing the coolest thing about throwing a party was getting the alcohol together. And you know, I like to mix the drinks and everything. So of course you could have margaritas or you could have like, you know, your uh, vodka, tequila, gin, all that stuff. It'd be like sprawled out on a big giant table. And what m my favorite thing would do to do was to make jungle juice. And so we would take Everclear, we would take the vodka, tequila, gin, everything, and we pour it all into a big giant tub that we would buy from Walmart. And then we add like, um, some some fruit punch in there, Sprite soda, and just it'll be a whole big giant just tub of alcohol. <laughs> and um and people get messed up off that. So I want to know if you had specialty drinks when you would throw a party or when you went to a party. I want to know the names of those drinks. Because everybody's got their specialty drink. We're going to play the next song and I'm going to let y'all know my specialty drink. Of course, I said one of them, which was Jungle Juice. Somebody said Hunch Punch in the chat. But I want to know what y'all specialty drinks were. Uh, let me see. This is Boston with Feeling Satisfied. I want to know those drinks, y'all. What are you doing? Margaritas, Incredible Hulk, Long Island, Bahama Mama, Sunset Passions, Gimlet, Lynchburg Lemonade, Connie, what is a salty dog?
Shout out to OG Mike coming through with the super chat. We appreciate it. Tennessee T, okay. Purple Jesus. is Boston with feeling satisfied leave your thoughts in the chat this is definitely a party song I'm um, listening to this I'm feeling hot I'm feeling like <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm at a party I need a drink um so I want to read some of these comments I asked you guys I told y'all what my my uh, favorite drink was to make while I was throwing parties which was jungle juice and I asked y'all for some of your favorite party drinks and uh, let me see, we because we had some uh, some crazy answers out, out here. Uh, I see um, an amaretto sour. Okay, all right. Sounds like you're playing it safe. Um, somebody said Mad Dog 2020. Yikes, having that malt liquor. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, let me see. <laughs> Grapefruit juice and vodka. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, that was a salty dog. Okay. I can get down with that. Somebody said Aquafina. Purple Jesus. What is a purple Jesus? Eddie uh, Loveless. What's in a purple Jesus? Uh, Tennessee tea and Lynchburg lemonade. Somebody said green tea and ginseng with honey. Oh, okay, that doesn't sound like an alcoholic drink, but, you know, it's all good. Go to a party, you don't have to drink. It's better, though, when you do, Drake. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Purple Jesus. Let me know what a Purple Jesus is. Um, uh, Jersey City style is uh, Mad Dog 2020. Yeah, uh, I couldn't do a Mad Dog 2020. It's just uh, malt. You know, before, uh, I always wanted to try malt liquor because you see it in the movies, like the gangster movies, and it looks cool when they're holding it in, in the paper bag. But you try it, it's, it's disgusting. It's better to have just a regular beer. <laughs> moonshine? You're drinking moonshine at a party? No way, man. <laughs> you might wake up somewhere where you, you don't want to be. <laughs> with somebody you don't want to be with. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go ahead and keep things going. Let me see. What do we got? Uh, this is Kiss with Come On and Love Me. Let's go. Yeah, you living on the wild side. She's a dancer, a romancer. I'm a Capricorn and she's a cancer. She saw my picture in a music magazine. When she met me, said she'd get me. Touched her hips and told me that she'd let me. I took her hand, baby, this is what I said. 
Come on and love me. <laughs> this is a wildly filthy song. And, um, and it's great. It, it's hilarious. It's funny to think that uh, for so many years when, when I was uh, younger that I, I couldn't listen to this band. Or I thought that, I, like I grew up thinking that this band was evil. This is an evil band. The face paints and everything. Face painted on their face. <laughs> but they make great music. And sometimes the music is so good that you don't focus on what they're saying. Like this was a good jam. And I was jamming out to the song. And about halfway through, I was like, what? He said, baby, baby, don't hesitate. Because I can't wait. Lady, won't you take me down to my knees? And you can do what you please. <laughs> Come and love me. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is great. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's keep things going, y'all. Um, Let me see. What are we doing? <laughs> Kiss is so nasty. <laughs> These guys are so filthy. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think the wildest song I heard from them was, um, was, uh, oh God, what was that song? Christine 16. Oh man. All right. All right. All right. Um, coming up next, this is, uh, Greg Keen band with the breakup song. Let's go. Feels like it feels like like a jukebox party song. I wish I could uh, call down Tasha so she could hear this. <laughs> I know she would like this.
This is pop rock? Wow. That is crazy. These guys are pop rock, so it's like even pop music in the 70s was good. Leave your thoughts in the chat, chat, y'all. Let me know uh, what you thought about that song. That's how it made me feel. Made me feel like I need to listen to this right after it. All right, y'all, coming up next, this is Elvis Costello. Pump it up. Let's go. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Yo, dirty. Um, a video game stole this song. Video game stole this song. All right. Look.
All right, guys, this is Elvis Costello with Pump It Up. Uh, this, as far as I know, this is the first time that I've heard of or heard his music. I heard of El Elvis Costello. Apparently, he's been incredibly influential to a lot of people, including, uh, I guess, video game music composers, because it does sound like a video game song that I, I've heard before. I'm not going to waste y'all's time trying to sift through games, trying to figure it out. But uh, Jersey Devil also said that um, he influenced Terrence Trent Darby. So that's interesting. So Jersey Devil, if you have that song, go ahead and let me know just so I can uh, check it out a little bit later. Uh, coming up next, let me see. This is Sierra Leone's Refugee All-Stars. All, All right, let's check it out. You said wrong song? Okay, all right, gotcha. All right, we're gonna get it right for you. Uh, you said Livingstone? Okay, there we go, Livingstone. There we go. Retro theater, what's good, we man? We are the When you start running, you better watch a step If you are falling now, and you can see a rescue play, they think about the job.
Guys, this is Sierra Leone's Refugee All-Stars. Leave your thoughts in the chat. Now, uh, Doom and Boomer, you said that this is a West African band. And they, uh, I guess they have West African sound. It sounds a lot like reggae. So that's cool. Nice chill vibes up in here. Anyway, we're going to keep things going. This is Kiss Me Deadly. Uh, Lita Ford. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Uh, -uh. no, that's that looks like a cover. <laughs> Here we go. Now, we can't play the video, but uh, we can play the music, though. That's what we're all about. I went to a party last Saturday night. I did a good leg. I got in a fight. Oh, <laughs> it ain't no big thing. <laughs> she said she didn't get laid. She got in a fight.
Army Wife. Shout out to Army Wife. Thank you for the donation. Oh, man. Guys, that was Lita Ford with Kiss Me Deadly. Leave your thoughts in the chat. Let me know what you thought about that song. We're going to keep things going. Let me see. What do we got? This is Steely Dan, Night by Night. All right, cool. Let's do it. Coming up next, we got some Angel Sword, Armored Saint, and some more Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh. What is going on? <laughs> Oh man, it sounds like porno music. <laughs> it's a Vegas life, said the Queen of Spain. But don't tell it to a poor man. Cause he's got to kill for everything. Let us know in the chat. Who's your 80s crush? We got Lita Ford, we got Kelly Kapaski, and the Wonder Years girl. <laughs> what was her name? Because no man have all that peace of mind to carry them. Winnie. <laughs> oh, thank you, Connie. When the Joker tried to tell me I could cut it in this room down. When he tried to hang that sign on me, I said, take it down. When the Dawn Patrol got to tell you twice, they don't do it with a shotgun. Yes, I'm cashing in this 10 cent line. Oh, Lita Ford took it. Dang. Well, I ain't got the heart to lose another fight. So until my ship comes in, I'll live night by night. crush from the 80s ladies let me know we got tom cruise charlie sheen ferris bueller and al bundy to say I was like Al Bundy <laughs> all right Val Val who are you crushing on oh Connie can't with Angus Young <laughs> Tammy C let me know who you were crushing on Mr. Belvedere get out of here <laughs> Sambora! Let's go!
man. Guys, this is Angel Sword with Break the Chains. Leave your thoughts in the chat. Since y'all were talking about Mr. Belvedere, I was like, okay, why not? Shout out to B. Schuler. We had to play his man crush, Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> so I asked the fellas in the chat, I said, who was your 80s crush? And I think um, the majority of people in the chat voted for Lita Ford. Now for the ladies, <laughs> I asked y'all, who was your man crush? And we had Charlie Sheen, we had Tom Cruise, and Ferris Bueller. Charlie Sheen got 6%. So ladies, we're not messing with Charlie Sheen. Yuck. <laughs> oh, man. Tom Cruise with 37%. All right. I, I think Tom Cruise has always been like the hunk his whole life. You know, I think, what, Top Gun came out, Risky Business. What was the other movie he, he was in? Um, I don't know. I can't remember. And then, of course, there was Ferris Bueller, which had to be arguably like the coolest high schooler during the time because he skipped school and then he had this whole wild adventure. But he got 16%. But coming in, tied with Tom Cruise, he scored four touchdowns in one game at Polk High. He had an awesome career selling luxury shoes. It's Al Bundy. <laughs> the living legend. <laughs> he was able to, to not only buy a house in Chicago, in the suburbs of Chicago, but he was able to support his family, his son and his daughter and his wife on his salary. And he was the CEO of the organization No Ma'am. <laughs> I guess that's the guy the women were crushing on. It's a man who knows how to take care of business. All right. You can't, <laughs> you can't knock him for that. He took, he's taking care of business. <laughs> and all he wanted was his alone time to sit on the couch and watch the game with uh, with some bigums. <laughs> anyway, red hot chili pepper, y'all. Higher ground. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. I could have been Jefferson.
said better off dead. Grandmaster V, oh man. Chili Peppers. Now, I'm not, you know, I, I'm familiar with Red Hot Chili Peppers. I know who these guys are. But I, I'm not really familiar with a lot of their songs in their catalog. Like, I've heard uh, the singles that were released on the radio. Uh, like, um, Under the Bridge and uh, What Did We Just Play? A ro Roller Coaster of Love and Aeroplane. But there's a lot of songs that they have that I have not heard, including this one right here. And this one was a banger. I really enjoyed this one. Shout out to Skates for this request. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, y'all. We're going to keep things going. This is Beth and Joe with Nutbush City. Nutbush City Limits. Now, let me see. This was requested by uh, Connie. Now, guys, Connie is always putting us on to good music. See, this is what I love about y'all, you guys in the chat and, and our subscribers. You guys have some of the best taste in music. We're always discovering new bands, new music, new artists. And I love it. I've never heard of these guys. But because Connie requested them, I know it's going to be dope. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Leave your thoughts in the chat. <laughs> Sorry, Connie, I gassed you up. Oh, let's go. Leave your thoughts, y'all. Now, we can't play the video. We're not trying to get shut down. But we're here for the music. Like ACDC. <laughs>
All right, guys, this is Beth and Joe with Nush Bu Nut Bush City Limit. Now, I believe this is a cover from uh, uh, Tina Turner. And y'all in the chat let me know that this is Joe Bonamassa and Beth Hart. So that's really cool. Now I feel like I, I, I need to go, and watch, go back and watch the video because I really, really like this. Oh, it's not from Hart. Oh, okay. Well, it's Beth Hart. All right, we're going to keep things going. Let me see. What do we got? What are we going to do? Uh, respect yourself? Okay. All right, there we go. The Staple Singers, respect yourself. Now, uh, before we jump into this song, let me go ahead and total out this poll. Uh, I asked you guys, I said, uh, who is your man crush? We have Al, Steve, and Jefferson. And in overwhelmingly 62%, Al is taking it again. So Al Bundy is the man crush for the evening. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are great. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> if you disrespect hey. everybody that you're running to How in the world do you think everybody's supposed to respect you If you don't give a heck about the man with the Bible and his hand You have a good night. If you don't respect Y'all say good night to Val.
Guys, this is the Stable Singers with Respect Yourself. <laughs> Can always get down with that. A song with a good message. <laughs> We're going to keep things going. Coming up next, we got, uh, this is the Electric Prunes with uh, I Had Too Much to Dream. Okay, let's check them out. This is the Electric Prunes with uh, Too Much to Dream. I've never heard of these guys. It says on the album cover right here, this is a, uh, a late 60s track, 66 to 67. And I absolutely loved this. I thought this was a complete banger. It had a unique style, trippy vibe, great feeling, and... It's something that I, I really wasn't expecting to hear, especially since we always do 70s, 80s, and 90s rock, and we really don't go into 60s except for Zeppelin, Sabbath, and uh, Deep Purple, and we've done a little bit of Pink Floyd, but that's kind of like what it felt like. It, it felt like, like something Pink Floyd would do. So now it makes me feel like I I need to maybe explore 60s rock and roll mainly because when Tasha and I do do old old school rock and roll we always do like from the 50s from like the mid to late 50s into some of the early 60s and so it's kind of like Elvis or um Little Richard but this is cool so uh, I don't know anything about these guys, but uh, I'm assuming maybe they're a British band. So if you if you guys have any information in the chat, let me know. But anyway, let me see. 
we're gonna go ahead and get to our next song. And guys, no more, no more, um, no more super chat requests. No more super chat requests, because I, I need to finish up the uh, the songs that we have. Y'all gonna keep me here all night. Um, but let me see, what do we have? <laughs> what about blue bubble? What about blue? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Oh man. All right, cheap trick with the uh, surrender. <laughs> oh man. All right, wait, 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 wait. All right, shout out to Connie for this request. Now you know like I'm still fairly due to cheap trick and so far I've I've you know some of their songs have been hit or miss but overall I'm kind of feeling this band, but let's check out this song. This is Cheap Trick with Surrender. Now, this is probably the best 
cheap trick song that I've heard so far in which I really, really enjoyed it. But now that I'm listening to this, I can hear other bands that I end up listening to later on. Um, I, I hear the, the sound. And so it makes me feel like uh, these bands probably were listening to Cheap Trick or they were influenced by them. And ironically, one of the bands that I opened up the stream with, Garbage, this sounds like something on one of their first two albums. And so I think it's easy to say that maybe Garbage was influenced by Cheap Trick. OG Mike, you have a good, good evening. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. But we're going to keep things going. Coming up next, this is Green Jelly with Three Little Pigs. I remember this song. Why don't you sit right back and I, I may tell you a tale. A tale of three little pigs. And a big, bad wolf. Oh, man. Coming up next, we got some Jeff Costellucci well, and Velvet Illusions. Leave your numbers in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> 
just as fast as they could. Yo, Wolfface, I'm your worst nightmare. <laughs> your ass is mine. They open for Testament. What? All right, guys. This is Green Jelly with Three Little Pigs. Leave your thoughts in the chat. Now, uh, I did hear this song uh, a while ago. I think that uh, maybe I may have done a, a reaction to it on the channel. But when I started to explore this band, because um, I, I didn't really know anything about them, um, I found out that they had did uh, a track from uh, a video game called uh, Maximum Carnage. It was a Spider-Man game. And I looked that song up, and I, I loved that song. That, that was a dope song from them. But uh, we're, we're going to keep things going. Uh, coming up next, this is 16 Tons by uh, Jeff Castellucci. Now, we did him last week, and... The song we did was Big Bad John. And this guy, he has like an incredible voice, but it's, it's, it's very deep. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check this out and uh, let's see what's going on. So see, what did I tell you guys? It's <laughs> made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. A muscle and blood and a skin and bones. You've got a mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load a 16 tons and what do you get? Another day older and a deeper in debt Say to Peter don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store Say Peter don't you call me Cause I can't go Say Peter don't you call me To the company store Say, Don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store Come on Ah sun didn't shine I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine I loaded 16 tons of number 9 coal and the strong boss said well I bless my soul you load 16 <laughs> tons and what do you get another day older and a deeper in debt say to Peter don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company stone yeah. I was born Fighting in trouble have been my middle name I was raised in a cane break by an old mama like And oh, I told a woman make me walk the line Yeah, 16 tons and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company stone oh, you can see oh man, that's coming. crazy Step aside. A lot of men didn't, a lot of men died. A one for silver iron and the other is steel. Right one wheel, you load. A 16 times. Another day older <laughs> and deeper in that saying, Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I can't go Peter, to the company stone. Say, Peter, don't you call me because I can't go. I owe my soul to the company. That is stone. crazy, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so y'all seen that along with me. This guy, his voice is incredibly deep. But at the same time, he's able to, like, raise the range of it. Like, he has all these different ranges for, for, for his music. <laughs> he's like a one-man band. <laughs> oh, man. Dirty said, oh, his voice is deeper than his. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was uh, once again Jeff Casalucci 
Leave your thoughts in the chat. Let me know who, what you thought about that. Yeah, he said, Barry White who? Yeah, damn. <laughs> Coming up next, this is Velvet Illusions with Hippie Town. He said, Conway, Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty does have a deep voice, but he ain't got nothing on that guy. Long, long hair. We are suits, painted faces in the hot boots. That's the kind of guy you don't want to introduce your girl to. They're all there. <laughs> People stare, but they don't care. In Hippie Town, in Hippie Town, they share the red. Oh, shit. Man, guys, this was this is the Velvet Illusions with Hippie Town. Now, um, all right. How, how can I how can I say this? Maybe a couple of streams back, we were we were doing songs and we played a lot of hippie songs. And there we go. We already see it in the chat. Um, and people kept talking about dirty hippies. Now, for me. I didn't grow up with that generation. Um, learning about hippies is learning about like, I don't know, cowboys in the wild west. Um, they weren't, they were just something that was in the past, but it, it was almost like it wasn't real. And so uh, I was asking in the chat, I was like, you know, what, what's so bad about hippies? What's wrong? And everybody had nothing but negative things to say about hippies. And I, I never understood that, you know, because even watching this video, it seemed like it seemed like everybody was having a good time. You know, they were just partying and um, I don't know, just zoning out. Oh, my God. What's wrong with her? But um, in the chat, everybody started shitting on the hippies and talking smack about them. And then we have we had a guy in the stream. His name was Hippie Joe. <laughs> I remember we had to apologize to Hippie Joe. Oh, Hippie Joe's in the stream now. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. But that's exactly what happened. Everybody was shitting on the hippies. And then Hippie Joe was like, oh, well, <laughs> I don't think I should be here anymore. <laughs> and so, um. You know, I, I didn't get it. It's, and so it's still, when I watch this, it's still kind of cool. But all I have to rely on is um, people to, to tell us about hippies. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, hippies, they were dirty and they stunk. And they were always at Woodstock and getting high and blah, blah, blah. They were a problem. But uh, <laughs> that's it. Now, Tasha's mom. She would tell us about uh, the hippies at her school. And uh, she said, what happened? I, because I was trying to find a reaction. Maybe y'all can find it. But she, she was talking about how 
um, when she was in high school, um, the hippies would do LSD. She was like, yeah, the hippies, they would go and they smoked their little butt and uh, they would pop the LSD and then they start dancing around. And she said one of the girls, she was dancing and then she started saying that she was on fire. She was saying her hair was on fire and we were just looking at her. And for whatever reason, everyone was, uh, they start talking smack about Tasha's mom in the, uh, in the chat because they were saying that, you know, she was wrong and that's not how hippies were. And they were peace loving people and stuff like that. But as, as I'm watching this video, you know, that's exactly what it looked like. It looked like people was popping LSD and they was getting into the zone. You know, like this chick, like she's feeling the music or the energy of the universe. <laughs> so, I mean, when I watch stuff like this and, you know, I, I, I don't know, they don't seem like bad people. Yeah, so I don't I don't understand why people kind of, you know, shit on hippies. But I don't know. Uh maybe that's something I'll have to explore more as I go on this music journey. You know, cuz it just seems like a a group of people just having a good time. I wonder what what music they're listening to. <laughs> so, uh guys, thank y'all so very much for hanging out with me tonight for our uh Friday night party. Uh, unfortunately, Tasha, she could not be here right now. She wasn't feeling too well, but she will be streaming tomorrow um, or we both will. I, I believe we'll be doing our rock and roll uh, battle stream tomorrow. So we're going to get that kicked off early and that way I'll be able to host Metal Meltdown after that. I was planning to host Metal Meltdown tonight, but this stream ran a little bit longer than than I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in for the evening and uh, we will be doing Metal Meltdown and our rock and roll battle streams to tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening. So um, if you've enjoyed yourself tonight and you enjoy metal music, then come hang out with me tomorrow evening for Metal Meltdown. And uh, if you enjoy rock and roll music, uh, you can hang out with us for the rock and roll battles and how the rock and roll battles work is basically you can request a song and uh, and then somebody else is going to request a song. And we're going to let the chat vote on who has the better song. And the winner uh, gets a chicken dinner. And the loser gets put on the wall of shame. So, yeah. So don't lose. And, of course, uh, we do things a little bit more hardcore in Metal Meltdown where uh, we do battle and we talk mess to each other. And um, if you lose a battle in Metal Meltdown, uh, you get kicked out of the stream. You get banned. You get banned from my channel. So, yeah. So Metal Meltdown is, is for the hardcore people. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and check up out of here and get some sleep. Once again, thank you all so very much for hanging out with me. This is fun. This was a lot of fun. Uh, maybe we should party more often on Friday nights. But, uh, guys, y'all have a safe evening, and I will see y'all later. That's right. Don't do anything stupid. Happy Friday. Have a safe e uh, have a safe weekend. If we don't hear or see from you guys over the weekend, have a safe weekend. Don't do anything stupid.